And another team that's been struggling, Caleb, are my Sacramento Kings. Hell yeah. Hey, we're, no. we're rock bottom together. We're rock bottom together. Well, okay, see, see you guys. Only difference, is, only difference is you guys are bad enough to where you guys are going to get a good pick. We're going to be middle of the pack, just a pick at 17 or 18. My That's Raider bottom, territory. My rock bottom is the Kings losing 9 of 10 and almost losing to the Detroit Pistons. Caleb's rock bottom is them being sixth place in the East. Go up, would you? God. Anyways, the Kings, again, lost 9 of the last 10. They just beat Detroit by three points in which was a game that they probably should have lost as well. Um, they've held an opponent to under 100 points. Caleb, can you guess how many times? Is it two? Two times? One. Whoa. Once this season. I would say the highlight of the past two weeks was Tyrese Halliburton getting some love from Harden and Kyrie. Did you happen to see any of that? Yeah, I did. That was cool. That was cool. And that's something that as a Kings fan, you got to take pride in because you don't got much else. Um, Right now, the Kings are struggling, Caleb. De'Aaron Fox has been doing a lot better, I would say, over the past few games after struggling a lot after coming back from that injury where he digged up his knee. Marvin Bagley has really shined. He's been the one bright spot besides Tyrese, I would say, but Tyrese has been kind of a constant this year. Marvin Bagley's looked good. He's looked a lot better. Defensively, though, I don't know how one can get worse, but he's looking like he's gotten worse. Right now, I, I just the Kings just are looking like they're in a little bit of trouble as far as what they're going to do with this team and, you know, how this year is going to go. A few weeks ago, we were talking about should the Kings be buyers or sellers because that's what was going around. And now they, you know, they, they've fallen to 14 and 21. This team has, has been struggling a lot lately. And Caleb, I wanted to ask you, what's your opinion on what you think the Kings should do at the deadline? Do you feel more as as this team should go on like a full out tank because of, you know, losing all these games and because of the draft class coming up? Or do you think that this should be more of just go see what you have? You still shouldn't put on the year. It's not good for Fox. It's not good for your young guys. You don't want to just show them that you're quitting. Say no to tanking. No, I'm playing tank. Listen, I, I get the whole like, don't trade away your guys, see what you have. Yeah, that applies to young guys, not guys like Harrison Barnes, not guys like Buddy Hield. Those guys are old now. I know Buddy Hield's only been in the league for like, what, five years, six years? But he's done. Like, I mean, his, his development's done. So you know what he is. You know what Barnes is. Trade him away. I mean, keep keep young guys like Woodard and stuff. By all means, do not get rid of those guys. But, like, those older guys on your roster, get them out of there. Get, get a return, get draft picks, get assets, get something. Because – they're not going to help you guys win. By the time you guys are good, they're probably going to be early 30s, right? And it's like, then you're just holding on to what was and all that. And it's just get them out of there. Just go for a fresh start with the young guys and just, I don't know, just get assets. It's, it's more, assets will help you guys more in the long run than those guys right now. I agree with you. I'm, I'm on the same page. You know how I've been. I've been on the, the tank bandwagon since the beginning because I feel like it's, there's no reason to, be going out right now and and not be tanking because right i mean at the end of the day tanking is more of just taking out all your guys and losing games but right now kings aren't tanking they have young guys they're just losing games they're the games that they are winning they're winning off the backs of their vets rashawn holmes had 19 points and 18 rebounds to beat the detroit pistons you know harrison barnes had 22 points that game buddy healed before they overturned it had a game winning tip in so these are guys that are going to win you games you don't need that when these guys are not part of your future and they're not even part of your present right now because they're not doing much to help you get anywhere. Right now, the Kings are, what, 12th in the West? Mm-hmm. I will say, though, that it is pretty tight, so I don't know how they're going to fall to maybe like a top five pick, which would be ideal. But, yeah, I, I, the Kings have just been this weird whirlwind. What do you think, again, I feel like we talk about this every few weeks, what, what do you think they should do with Luke? Like, wh- where do you go from here if you're Monty McNair? Do you keep Luke around? Do you, do you let Alvin Gentry run the show? Like, If De'Aaron Fox approaches me and says, I don't like Luke Walton, then I'm getting rid of him. But if he doesn't say anything and Bagley doesn't say anything cause, and Halliburton doesn't say anything, I'd say those three guys are the only guys that can make me fire Luke midseason because Luke is good for the tank. Let's be honest. Like, 
I mean, he he's he's good for the tank. It, it's it's just how it is. I, keep him around unless one of those three guys approaches you and says, "Look, I don't really like Luke. Like, I don't like what he's doing with the team. I like the way Gentry runs the practices more." Then by all means, you get rid of him. But if they don't say anything, keep Luke in there and just accept the losses. I'm with you on that. I don't think you can just get rid of Luke right away, especially if. Like they have said, a lot of the media said he hasn't lost the locker room yet. I, I feel like if he hasn't lost the locker room and he's still losing games, just go keep on the tank. Obviously, if they hit like another 10-game losing streak, I feel like you kind of have to fire him because at that point, it's <laughs> shown that he's lost the locker room and it, it's kind of apparent. But, you know, I wouldn't want to have Alvin Gentry be the interim because then you know how the players get. Every time you have an interim coach, players just start playing motivated. They win a few extra games. Wouldn't want that, honestly, because at the end of the day, I'd rather have the Kings just go all out tank. They need another pick. They need a young guy. This team is just not good enough. 